Tic Tac. Someone created a program to read text files. We think the program reads files with root privileges, but apparently it only accepts to read files that are owned by the user running it. All right, well, let's SSH over there. Port 60633, CTF player at Saturn, picoctf.net. Show one app. Okay. 3F39, 3F39, Okay, so here's the C++ program. It's going to ask for a file name. It's going to open the file name. It's going to check the owner. And then it's going to display the contents of the file. All right, so it says talk to, time of check, time of use. So we open the file before we check to see who owns it. Um, Actually, yeah, we actually do the stat call here. So we have just a tiniest little bit of time between opening the file and getting the stats on the file that if the file owner could change there. So if we open the file while it's pointing to the flag and then we change that file name so it points somewhere else, in that little bit of time, we should be able to win. Okay, well, that's going to be... That's going to be super hard. Um, so, we'll just say, so we're going to link uh, flag to link, then we'll link um, we'll make some other file. All right, so now what we can do we'll run that. So part of the time, it's trying to read file one, and it will. And part of the time, it's trying to read the flag that I don't own. So now we need to try that a lot. So maybe 100 times. dot there. All right, let's see if we get lucky. No. Still no. Oh, I think I might have gotten lucky. There it is. Uh, it's a little more challenging than it's easy, but we managed to get the flag. So again, the key principle is this notion that we were going to be able to flip what the link pointed to between opening the file and getting the stats on that file. And there we go.